Yo, Apple just announced iOS 16, but I'm pretty sure you guys know that and watch the keynote. Top features by far were the customizable lock screen, amazing CarPlay update, and then messages improvements. That being said, I found 12 really amazing, cool features that Apple did not notice. So let's jump into these. All right, so the first one is a really great quality of life improvement, and you can now see your password for your Wi-Fi in the Wi-Fi settings. Super simple, you just go into the Wi-Fi settings in the settings app, tap on the eye icon next to the Wi-Fi name, and there's your password, which of course you'll have to unlock with Face ID, and then you can easily share it with anyone else. Now this is big because it's not in iCloud passwords list, right? So I would have like a, a separate numbers spreadsheet that has all my passwords in it and then I always have to go look for my Wi-Fi password when I'm changing stuff around or whatever. This is a nice new way to get to your password though. If you watch the keynote you'll see that dictation has got some sweet improvements but one of the coolest ones is auto punctuation. So as you're talking if you take a pause it'll add in a comma or maybe a period. It'll even throw in a question mark if you're asking a question as you can see here. Number three, keyboard now has haptic touch. Dude, you can't hear it, but I am screaming inside. I have been using the haptic touch keyboard for the last almost two days now, and it feels amazing. Not only that, you can turn off sounds if you want to, but you're still going to get feedback. How sick is that? Number four, contacts now has list editing and shortcut support. So you can create a list in the contacts just like you have been able to on macOS for years. And now there's some feature parity here between iOS, iPadOS, and macOS regarding contacts. Number five, in the messages app, there's a new unread section. So now all of the messages that you have that obviously that you have not read will congregate there. It's kind of like a smart list that you have in the reminders app, for example. Number six, so because dictation has taken the place of voice messages, voice messages are now an iMessage app. The thing is the app only has a record button. So I'm wondering if this is laying groundwork for in an iOS 16 dot update maybe for the voice messages feature to have some other features like sending a voice message that has already been transcribed. So you're sending like maybe a voice message plus the written text. I don't know, I'm kind of hopeful here. Let me know down in the comments what you think this might end up being. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe and like for more videos like this one because I have got a bunch of videos that I wanna drop over the next couple weeks. All right, number seven. Now in Apple Music, you can now favorite or follow an artist, which they kind of used to have. So they're bringing this back in a new way so you can get some notifications when your artist, your, when your favorite artist drop a new album or release. Number eight. In Control Center, you have been able to see which apps have been using your location, um, the, your camera or your microphone. Well, now there's this new privacy banner, which if you tap on it, it'll show an expanded list of all the apps and what services are using kind of sensitive data from your iPhone. Number nine, iCloud passwords last year got the ability to create two-factor authentication codes, which would autofill for you, similar to like when you get a two-factor text message code. Well, now you can actually have third-party apps also be allowed to autofill the 2FA codes for you if you're using other apps like Authy, for example. Number 10, you can hang up calls with the side button. I know it's not nowhere near as cool as being able to smash your phone down on the receiver like you used to back in the day, but being able to jam that side button is just a quick and easy way to give you another way to hang up calls. Then Siri can also hang up calls by using, hey, magic word, Hang up the call and your call will end. Hey Siri, hang up. Also with Siri, this ties in, you can now send a message without having to confirm that you do want to send the message that you dictated, which might be kind of useful for those of you wanting to use Siri more, but are just uh, annoyed by how much it bogs you down, always confirming with you that it really is doing what you want Siri to do after you told Siri what to do. So this is a good step in the right direction. And the last one, number 12, 
if you want, you can hide that search button, which you see on the home screen. So if you're already used to just swiping to use spotlight, you can get rid of that. Now, in my opinion, it doesn't really matter. Um, if, you only, if you use focus modes and only have one page, you don't really need those page dots anyways. So being able to tap when you want or swipe when you want is just nice. I and mean, it's, it's almost the same gesture. All right, so those are the 12 features that I have found. Let us know down in the comments below what you think. Have you found some features that you think Apple should have mentioned but didn't? Mine by far is the haptic touch keyboard. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite feature is. All right, if you made it this far, thank you so much. Consider subscribing for more videos like this one. I Like I said, I have a bunch in the pipeline. Um, I'm actually feeling stressed out and I don't know why um, because there's so many people dropping awesome content about iOS 16 and I guess I want to be part of the mix of the cool content. All right, see you guys in the next one. Rich Aesthetic out.